think a lot of them will have the render anyways, so, yeah. All right, so this is geometry, chapter three, lesson six, constructing parallel and perpendicular lines. Our learning objective, let's highlight it so we, is to construct parallel and perpendicular lines. Remember, constructions use two important tools. So I want you to write those two important tools on your paper. You have to have a straight edge, and a ruler works great for that. And you have to have a compass. Some people get the compass and the protractor mixed up. Compass is a circle maker, or protractor is a circle measurer. So compass is the one with the pointy edge and a pencil stuck to it. So the first thing we're going to look at is constructing parallel lines. And there is um, a couple of easy steps to do that. It only took me about 30 minutes yesterday to remember all the steps because um, I couldn't remember from chapter one how to make an angle. All right. So to construct a line parallel to a given line, we have on your paper a line L and a point N. We label the um, points H and J on your line. So here's H and here's J. And then you draw a line through N H. The next thing you do is open your compass and draw an arc. Um, let me get my compass. So you put the pointy in, you open it, and you make a nice little arc that cuts through your M line. Um, you make that same arc. down here on your other line. So you don't actually, you don't have the line M yet. So you just have, all right, so let me go back. Um, so you put your compass on H and you draw the line. Boop, boop. Like this. Keeping it the same distance open, you do that same arc onto over by N. So your arcs are going the same way. And make sure it crosses the green line. So um, then you open the compass. Let me move, uh, move it down. I just want to move it. Oops, that's the wrong item. So I want it to touch the point where I want to measure the distance from where it crosses the above line and where the arc touches. So I look, I got to go in just a little bit. And so now I know the distance from the point on the line to my line L. So I'm going to take that same distance and transfer it over here. Once I do that, I take my straight edge and where that point crosses, I have a nice parallel line. All right, so I'm going to give you guys a second. I want you to construct two parallel lines. So let's do that together. Um, and our reasoning says, why must lines L and line M be parallel? Well, we have copied 
this angle here and transferred it up here. And these are corresponding angles. So the reason why they have to be parallel is because they are corresponding angles. All right, so let's take a moment together, use our compass and our straight edge, and make parallel lines. Because the only way we get better at stuff is if we practice. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line on my paper. And then let's label that L. If we want to make it a true line, we say it goes off forever into infinity. And then we put point N above it. We put a point H below. And then draw a line that goes through. H and N so boop. yeah all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our compass I want where I can grab it there we go we're going to open it an arbitrary distance like hmm. so and let me change the color of this so you can see and we're going to make an arc that goes through our line L from point H then we pick up our compass and put it on N Oops. Actually, let's um, put it back on point H. Where <laughs> this line has to touch the line above. Sorry. Then we pick it up, put it on point N, and create that same arc above it. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to measure the distance. Let me change my pen color here. We're going to measure the distance from where my arc touches this line so I am actually let's have to move this okay so I'm just going to adjust it a little bit I want to measure the distance oh, go back go back the distance from where this arc touches blue to this green point and I think right about there so the di you're measuring the distance from here to here so then I'm going to pick it up, put it on where this arc touches up here, and make a mark. So now the line that goes from N through where this red and blue cross is going to be the line parallel. Would I get to move from here, please? There we go. And there is a slightly bit of human error involved in creating these. So if your line is not like right on the money, it is a okay. Because especially if um, you don't have an amazing compass, it could end up being tragic.
But anyway, two parallel lines copying the angle, making corresponding angles. All right, next, constructing a special quadrilateral. So you guys are given line segments A and B. We are going to create a quadrilateral A, B, Y, Z, where A, Z is the length A, B, Y is the length B, and A, Z is parallel to B, Y. So the way that rolls down is you're creating arbitrary line A and arbitrary line B. Um, so to create a parallel line, we, we're creating a line parallel to A, so we do that art, or angle copying technique to get the line parallel. Then we open our compass to length A and mark point Z. And we open our compass to the length B and mark line Y. Then we draw a line from Y to Z. And we have a quadrilateral with parallel sides and lengths AB. So we are going to do that same thing for this got it. We're going to draw a segment to get my compass and my ruler. Um, we're going to draw any arbitrary line segment and its length is going to be N. Then we're going to construct a quadrilateral the same way where we have AB is M and CD is 2M. So let's bring in, come on down. Bring my tools down. Um, so let's draw a line segment M. And I'll put a point here and a point here. And the, um, to copy the method that they did here, we're just going to put a point. Um, we're going to label this A. We're going to put a point B above it. And um, draw a line from A to B. So I'm going to copy this angle here using the same process. So let me change my pen color. So I'm going to open this a specific distance. And I'm going to make an arc. Then I'm going to pick that up and make that same arc on B. Then I'm going to measure the distance of this blue arc from purple to purple. And this is easier to do than on the, oh, come back. Open it a little bit more and I think we're good. So now I'm going to, yeah, that's good. Transfer that distance here. <laughs> Grab my straight edge. Uh, and create this line that's parallel. Awesome. Okay. So then I need um, to take my compass 
And I want to measure the distance m here. So let me. Okay. So I'm going to measure the distance m here. And I'm going to transfer that up to my B line. Let's make it a different column. And then I'm going to, since I want it to be 2M, I'm going to pick this up. Come on. Okay. Pick it up. Put it where the first arc was created and get that distance. So now I know that this from here, from B to this point, is 2Ms. And this is an M. So all I need is a line. from here to here. And we will call, oh, hold on. All right, so after carefully reading the instructions, we realize that this B is, that is not what we want to call B. Um, because you look at the instructions and it says AB is parallel to CD where AB is M so B has to be here mm -hmm. and CD is 2M so we have to call this point C and this point D boom and then we nailed it alright so suppose you and a friend both use steps in problem two, to construct A, B, Y, Z independently, will your quadrilaterals necessarily have the same angle measures and side lengths? Explain. So let's take a peek, see. Um, at these guys. So if we arbitrarily picked point B, so this distance A, B, is going to be different from one person to the next. But this length B will be the same as this length A. And because we arbitrarily picked point B, the angle A and angle um, B are going to be different. So they won't necessarily have the same angle measures, but they will have side length B and side length A. Alright, so that's lines parallel. We need to talk about lines perpendicular. So we are going to, when you're given a line and you have a point, you open your compass and make an arc here and make that same arc on the other side. So Opening your compass beyond AP, so somewhere between, from A to somewhere between point P, strike an arc above P, and then lift your compass up, put the point, point on B, and strike the same arc above P, and you get a nice little cross above your P point. The line through where your arcs crossed and P is going to give you a perpendicular. All right, so we are going to use a straight edge to draw EF, construct FG so that FG is perpendicular to EF at point F. So we're essentially going to replicate this process here. So pull out my tools. So let's make EF. And so draw EF. Oops, this is enough. Construct FG so that FG is perpendicular to EF. So F is here, and now that I'm paying attention, G is going to be somewhere above it. So I'm going to, just for the sake of my health, um, extend this line out this way. All 
right, so let me make this blue. All right, so we are going to go to point F, open our compass, make an arc, boop, 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 on this side. Also make that same arc over here. We're going to move our compass to where our arc struck the line and open it up a little bit more. And um, make a mark up here above F. We're going to move our compass point to the other blue arc. And cross, draw, draw. There we go. Okay, and where we cross here, and line F is going to be perpendicular. So we call this G. So FG is perpendicular to EF. Move, move. Nailed it. Time. We've got plenty of time. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is um, the perpendicular postulate said through a point not on a line like point P, there is one and only one line perpendicular to the given line. So if I have a line L and a point P, there is only one line that's going to be perpendicular to that. And um, to construct that line, so we have line L and point R, we're going to open our compass beyond point L and make a nice little smiley face arc. Then we place our compass on E and we make an arc below our line. Keep the same compass setting, go to F and make that same arc below and cross that point G. Then the line that goes through point R and G is perpendicular. All right, we're going to replicate those steps ourselves. And all right. Okay, so we're going to draw CX. So any line CX. Boom. So here's a line. Put point C and point X. And any point Z not on CX. So how about right here? Construct ZB so that ZB is parallel to CX. So we're going to locate point B on our line. It's going to be perpendicular. So we're just going to follow the steps. So we make an arc. So let's grab our compass, make an arc. Oh, 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 oh. That's not what I, want. I just want to open. I'm open a little bit more. just to make sure my arc goes through. Whoa. Okay. I need a little bit more line C on this. There we go. Okay. And then, following the directions, we take our compass. Um, on E and make a mark. So I like to do there he's there. Let's get him in a good orientation. 
Okay. So we're going to make a nice arc mark down here. I'm going to open him up a little bit more. Pick him up. Point right here. Cross. Down here. And then take your straight edge. Okay. It wants to go this way. And where they cross is a line perpendicular. And we're going to ZB, so that ZB is perpendicular to ZX, so we'll call this point. Da -da -da, perpendicular. Yay. And that is the end of section 